Jane, thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. And not to take the light for one second away from anything else, but Jane is here with her fiance, Robert Godley, and we wish them much love and happiness. Congratulations. <laughs> the number from the Adams family was very meaningful. And I was at the opening night a few days ago with my son Henry and my wife Lizzie, and my sister was there. And I care deeply about the show, and it's part of this wonderful world we call Broadway. But now that this song has been sung on the stage of the Marriott tonight, if I ever say to you that I'm going to moon you, you better take me seriously. <laughs> I want to congratulate so many people, but I also want to thank my co-chairs, Annette Benning and Kevin McCollum. I had never met Annette before we started working together some nine months ago. And everything that I had heard about her, read about her, had seen her in films, came true to life. She is gracious. She is a real fan of theater and the world of film. And it was a pleasure working with her. And Kevin, you are truly one of the bright lights of Broadway and make this world so exciting for so many people. So thank you both for the pleasure of allowing me to work with you. When Jed Bernstein and Joe Benincasa came to see me now, I guess a little bit more than a year ago, to really start the conceptualization of what could be this campaign for the Actors Fund, I said, after some thought, that this is something that I really want to do. And there, there are a few reasons. One is the respect that I have for Joe Benincasa. As many of you know, the hotel industry is where my family started some 65 years ago, and I've had the pleasure of working in it myself for in excess of three decades. And so I've come in contact with a lot of association executives. They are the cornerstone of a lot of our business. I learned that piece of the business from Charlotte St. Martin, who is here tonight. And in all my interactions with association executives and with a group called the American Society of Association Executives, I put Joe Benincasa at the top of the list as one of the finest association executives in this country. <laughs> he truly understands all of the factors that make this organization vital to our city and to this country. And he does it in a self-evasing manner that makes you feel part of an organization. So Joe, I thank you for allowing me to be part of your world. And in our partnership with Michael Feinstein, with Feinstein's at the Lowe's Regency Hotel, I've got to, gotten to meet a lot of wonderful performers. Jane has been with us, Cheyenne has been with us. And a gentleman that I met a few years ago really turned out to be a dear friend. He was so kind to sing for us at a memorial service in honor of my late father, Bob Tisch, that many of you knew and, and had a pleasure of working with. And when Stokes said to me, John, I'm the head of this organization, would you help us? It was once again something that I really wanted to do. So Stokes, thank you for everything that you do. <laughs> to get to a goal of $10 million in nine months, and we have a little bit more to do, it doesn't happen by itself and we've heard about some of the wonderful people that are involved. But we also had a company called CCS who are cam campaign consultants, and they've really helped us. They have nurtured us. They have given us the roadmap how to get to so many people, many of whom are in this room tonight. And I want to thank Bob Kassane and Bob Happy and KO, Kathleen O'Connor, for all of their work. They have made our jobs a little bit easier. and also Jen Farley from my team at Walnut Hill Media. I think back as to the first moments that I've had a sort of an understanding of the world of theater. As some of you know, one of the first businesses that my father and uncle bought was Lowe's Theaters, and they bought that back in 1961. And I have very vivid memories of on every Wednesday, my father would come home to our home in Scarsdale, New York, and he would give me daily, oh, excuse me, he would give me weekly variety, and I would leaf through it I'd read about Broadway, and I'd read about films, and I'd read about live theater. And it was the first chance that I had to have an appreciation for what this wonderful world is made of. Here we are some four or five decades later, and 
to see the evolution of our family and how fortunate we have been, and also to see how much we all deeply care. My sister is here tonight, and she was the founder of the Center for Arts Education some 12 years ago. This is an organization that brought arts back to the public schools in New York City in all five boroughs. And my mother, who sadly uh, decided at the last minute that she wasn't feeling well, didn't join us tonight in her work in so many communities, one of the original board members of the Gay Men's Health Crisis going back now some 25 years, my brother Steve, who's a movie producer out in Los Angeles and his work with AIDS LA, AIDS Project LA. It's been very rewarding for me as a member of this family to have an appreciation for everybody who does something for somebody else. And this campaign has been successful because we have put aside our individual concerns and we have worked together towards the greater good. And that is the support of the Actors Fund. And in this room tonight, we've got management. We've got theater owners. We've got labor. We've got actors. We have actresses. We have producers. We have directors. We've got hoteliers. We've got people who have made a commitment to this as a career, but they've also made a commitment to this as a way of life. And by your support tonight, you have shown that you deeply care about others. And if we are to survive as a great society, that's all we can do is support others. And I also am rewarded so much to think about the future. My son Henry is here tonight, 16 years old. And much of, much of my appreciation for the theater, and we go almost every week, is through his eyes. I thought I'd educated him better, but he wants to be a Broadway producer. And thanks to some people in this room, he will. He will accomplish his goal. But to watch him watch all of you has been so rewarding. And to know that the future of this great craft, the future of Broadway, the future of theater, the future of film, is in the hands of Henry Tisch and millions of others like him, makes me feel very good. And that is, those are the reasons why I wanted to be involved with the Actors Fund. We are here tonight to thank so many people, and once again, I want to add my thanks to all of you for allowing us to get to that goal of 10 million towards our eventual resting spot of 12 and a half million dollars. One other person to thank, and that's my wonderful wife, Lizzie. We've only been married two and a half years. I still consider myself a newlywed but she has totally changed my perspective on things. The whole notion of being a partner with somebody, of working together, of loving together, of living together, it's because of Lizzie that I get to do so many great things and start every day with a smile on my face. And I thank all of you, and honey, I love you. Thank you very much for this.